Hello, today I'm turning this apple branch into a dagger. I started by using the stationary belt sander to create the transition between the handle and the blade, but the belt ended up not being aggressive enough so I was just burning the wood. I tried to see if I could do other aspects of the blade with this, but it was easier to just swap over to the handheld belt sander which had a more aggressive belt. My main objectives at this point were to bring the thickness of the blade down to about 3 eighths of an inch or about a centimeter. I'll speed up the rest of this. Enjoy! At this point, I have the thickness of the blade to where I want it, so I'm going to grind out the profile. Here I draw on all the lines for the bevels, and I'm going to use them as a guide so that the blade is more uniform. I'm going in with a file because I want to clean up the plunge line, which I was not able to do on the hand belt sander. Once I got the plunge lines to where I wanted them, I went back to the stationary belt sander because it is better for these little details. I used the file to clean up some of the burning from the sander. Although the plunge lines are often a good look on knives, the transition from the handle to the blade felt inorganic, so I went in with my pocket knife and smoothed out the transition. I was not too careful with damaging the, the other side of the blade, because I had a lot of sanding ahead of me anyway and the cuts would not add much time to that. I used the oscillating sander to polish the blade, but it started to take a while, so later on I used some 60 grit sandpaper to speed up the process. I ended up doing a fair bit of sanding off camera, but the process was the same. I used the hand belt sander to remove some of the rough edges on the handle, and then polished them off camera. On to finishing! I use linseed oil, one coat of it, and then I take a new paper towel and polish off the excess oil. Enjoy the end product, and thank you for watching!